Whiskey Before Breakfast is a great old fiddle tune that sounds good on almost any instrument that plays leads in the, the fiddle tradition. Fiddle, guitar, banjo, mandolin, even dobro. And uh, this song completely embodies the, the pulse of fiddle music that we were talking about earlier. And uh, it also features um, the quality of hitting two strings at once all over the place. And it, it, it's almost a study in that. But uh, it's just a great song. And like many of these other songs, it's very modular. You can take any of the sections. And this is a very compact arrangement here. We're going to play it once through, A, A, B, B. And uh, within, that, um, within that one version is enough uh, flat pick nutrition to last the average person for a full week. Here it is now, uh, up to speed. <laughs> As I said, that song, uh, this is a very compact arrangement. Any of those uh, A sections could be easily played twice and uh, would sound fine. So uh, there's some variations and expansions very much possible with this. But this is like a concentrated protein bar of the whiskey before breakfast licks. As I said, when we started, the important thing about this is the flat pick pulse rhythm and the hitting of two strings at once. I'll play it slowly and stop at uh, any points of interest. So we start out with we start out with what's called potatoes or the kind of a, a fiddle shuffle to start with. Very common beginning to a lot of fiddle tunes. stop now that's the end. we just did the full a part and uh, notice in the arrangement how when we started out the a part after the opening phrase we threw in a strum the second time through we did a little cross picking riff to fill in for the strum we went those are both options and uh, varying that adds a nice texture to the arrangement. In the B part, we started out with a little bit of a syncopated down, up, up, down. A lot of times in simpler arrangements of this, you'll see a tablature or something that will say just, you know, which is kind of white bread. We want a little uh, spiced rye here with We did our little hammer on there, and that's that's also after that hammer on to the D. That's the place where some people would strum and go. But we're doing another cross-picked phrase, and as with old Joe Clark, we're doing that. It's that exact same hammer on first to third fret on the second string. We're doing that with a rest stroke, so we're going. burst of cross picking. Now on this on this phrase here, you really hear the fiddle pulse. Na ba da ba da da. And the big skill there is hitting those 
sets of two strings as if they were one string. One thing that my hand does when I'm doing that is to get that angle right for the sets of two strings. I'll tilt my hand down a little bit. My palm will kind of rest lightly on the low E string. So I'll be going, you know. As just a little angular help. To finish off the B part, we start out with a syncopated down, up, up, down. Next time through, we do a kind of longer cross-picked version of that we go. And that last phrase is just pure fiddle pulse.